I never get out of Los Angeles. I'm working all the time. I, I have see. weekends off. That's all I have. But I have heard so much about this play, and everyone raves about it. You won a Tony Award for it. Congratulations. Well, thank you very uh, much. It's, um, so explain to everyone what Dear Evan Hansen is. Sure, so Dear Evan Hansen is a musical that's still, uh, still running on Broadway that uh, we started developing like three and a half years ago. Um, that's by, uh, the music is by Pascal Paul, uh, who wrote the music in La La Land, and they have the movie Greatest Showman coming out. Um, and it's about a really lonely, sort of anxiety-ridden teenager who um, sort of struggles to connect, and that's kind of like uh, amplified by hyperconnectivity and social media and all that good stuff, and so I think, um, uh, fabricates this big lie that the whole show is about, about a, a friendship that he had with a kid in his class that uh, was untrue, with a kid that has um, taken his own life. Um, and through this fake friendship, kind of finds like a new confidence and a new sort of voice, although it's kind of predicated on a lie. So it's mm -hmm. sort of this moral story of whether or not that's sort of the right path or not. And then social media also plays a big role in it. There's like lots of projections and, and sort of um, interjections from the world around him. It's, but it's a really, in I mean, all Broadway is intense, because how many shows a week did you do? Well, we did eight shows a week. So I, I, we did a production in DC, a production off Broadway and now on Broadway, so it's it's been quite a long journey, and we do we do eight a week, um, and it's a lot of sort of discipline and a lot of like not eating dairy or gluten and not you know uh, going out, not drinking, and not uh, smoking. It's why? Quite the, why? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I agree with all those things anyway, but but, but but why not the dairy and gluten? What's that got to do with performing? So um, as a singer, it causes a lot of mucus. Like uh -huh. it's 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 bad for like uh, like, and also in the in the show I had to cry a, a great amount. So there's a lot of like mucus coming out anyway, not to be disgusting, but. Um, <laughs> So it's I'm a sorry, I missed it. <laughs> um, but but so 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 I heard that you you didn't like talk, you didn't do anything on your downtime. I did. I, I mean, especially when I was feeling a little bit shaky in the voice, because it is a really uh, vocally demanding part, and I wanted yeah. to really give it my all every every night. But that gave me sort of a great opportunity to kind of meditate on the experience and like have a have a chance to sort of take everything in because it was sort of, I've been doing theater since I was like six or seven years old and so to be in an original Broadway musical that wins the Tony and create a character from scratch and have all this wonderful stuff happen has sort of like been my dream since I was a little kid so it gave me an opportunity to like have time to process all that. I'm glad you did and you're only, you're 24, right? Yes indeed, So to 24. achieve all this, you know, by the time you're 24. It's gonna go to bed now. Yeah, I mean. you should rest. <laughs> you need to rest for a little while. That's a lot, I mean, that's a lot to take on. So Beyonce uh, came to see you which I know that was, I mean, everyone, went, from what I understand, like everyone went to see you except for me. I think I'm the only we person who didn't, much. and I'm sorry. That's all right, but, I can but see you've you, got stuff going on. Got a few things. Um, but w did you know she was in the audience before you went out? I had some warning, which was good because I don't think I would have really been able to handle myself if not. Beyonce is my sort of like number one of all people. Like I, I can't really be around her without like fully just going crazy. Um, and so I had two days notice. I like. Planned a haircut, planned an extra voice lesson, really wore my favorite outfit, and then as soon as I walked out on stage, I saw like sort of just the silhouette of her hair on the aisle, <laughs> and it was just everything I'd ever dreamed. And she took the time to come back and see us, and and, wow. and was kind enough to talk about the show, and it was everything I dreamed. It was unbelievable. Well, and then you just got assigned to a record deal. I did. I'm going to make an album at Atlantic Records. And will, a solo will album. you have her on your record? There is nothing that I would love more than that. Um, the thought of that really makes me um, sweat. Um, I, 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 I would be the most honored. Even if she wanted to just like say a single word like at the start of a track or just like appear like sort of on the cover of the album. Just anything she wants to do. You make her hair seem so long. <laughs> like, like, every, every time you motion her hair, it gets longer and longer. It's just a wavy sea of, of, of glory. Of glory. Just... It is a wavy. <laughs> you're right. It's a wavy sea of glory. Um, all right. Well, it was, it's so nice meeting you. And thanks for being here. It's and, my pleasure. And congratulations on everything that's going on in your life. And you're in Sexiest Man and People. And so you're a sexy man. Okay. And you've got all these things going on. So the name of the book is Dear Evan Hansen, Through the Window. Everyone in the audience, you're going home with a copy.